Hi, I'm Juan Molina, DG Shape Dental Product Manager for the Americas. Today, I have Ian O'Neill with me, Regional Sales Manager for the East Coast. He will be discussing a few topics regarding our 4mm burr, the RSB200D US. Let's get started. Thank you, Juan, and uh, welcome everybody. We're happy to be here with you today to talk about something really exciting that uh, would be utilized by current 53 DC owners as well as people considering to buy them. So uh, we're, uh, we're excited to bring to you a four millimeter single flute milling solution for the DWX 53 DC. And we're gonna be talking to you about the milling benefits to adding that to your workflow to streamline your production of plastics, acrylics, as well as thermoplastics. So with that, we're gonna get right into it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about strategy and tooling advancements in the DWX 53 DC. This is something you may have seen me talk about in the past, uh, potentially at Chicago LMT. We did some presentations on this and we're really excited to bring this solution full circle now with both of our CAM partners in uh, Sim Systems with their Millbox software uh, as well as Hypernet. So what we're gonna be talking about is the tool itself, what the benefits are of the new four millimeter tool, what its capabilities are and what kind of time savings we're going to see uh, out of this solution with the DWX 53 DC. First off, we'll talk briefly about the 53 itself. What are the benefits of upgrading from one of our previous models to the 53 DC? The main benefit is gonna be the robust spindle in this device. It's like no other that we've had before. It has three times the grip force to the tool, which allows us to utilize larger tooling. More grip is required when we have larger tooling because there's additional torque. So that's one of the main benefits of the 53 DC. Uh, that grip unlocks the potential for strategy adjustments as, as well as evolution in tooling. So now we're utilizing the ZPB tools, which are specialized for milling plastics, acrylics, and thermoplastics. Uh, so that's an exciting uh, addition with the 53 DC. The 53 is also a cleaner milling machine. It has automated cleaning processes which take place at the conclusion of a milling job. It'll blow milled debris back towards the back of the machine where the uh, suction unit is located and it will allow you to select three different options for cleaning features on your milled puck. You can have fast, standard, or high quality cleaning. It will take the spindle uh, and the air blowing unit and clean off the puck before it transfers that puck back into the chamber, ultimately resulting in a cleaner working space outside of the mill as you transition those pucks in and out of, out of the machine. Uh, uh, one of the best features of the machine is the built-in web camera. This is our first machine that we've released with a uh, real-time web camera. You can access it through uh, our site or you can run that web camera live on the screen and really watch what's going on inside of the device while it's completing a job. Uh, rapid movements are much faster in the device. Rapid movements are movements the machine makes that are not cutting movements. So that could be changing tools from the, from the tool holders into the collet or uh, transitioning pucks in and out of the holders itself. We've reduced the puck change time in the 53 DC by 50%. Uh, in the older model, the 52 DCI, those changes uh, took roughly two minutes and seven seconds. We now have that down to just about one minute to transition the puck in and out of the machine, making the machine more efficient uh, and saving you time overall. One of the things that we heard from many of the customers was the demand for more ID patterns uh, compared to our older models, where we used to operate off of a alphabetical system, A through Z. It limited the amount of pucks which you could track inside of your CAM software. So with the 53 DC, what we've done is we moved to a numerical system, opening up one through 100, so you can have a whole library outfitted of uh, puck holders to transition out in and out of your machine with a puck changer. Those are some exciting advancements. Some specs about the machine itself. Capabilities as far as material will be PMMA, zirconia wax, uh, composite resins, peak, gypsum, should you choose to mill it, fiber reinforced materials like a trilor, uh, and pre-sintered chromium cobalt, which would be that 
chrome cobalt, which would need to go into an argon sintering furnace. Okay. Uh, we've added an extra five degrees in the B axis compared to our previous models being only 30. We now have 35 degrees. Uh, it is a larger machine, so it weighs a bit more. With every machine, you are going to receive a set of material adapters, as well as our open edge adapter, which is comparable to the old C-clamp fixture we used to feature in the 52 series mills. Again, with totally redesigned spindle with a lot of great features, all the accessories you need to get up and running are included, which includes one set of our ZPB milling burrs, which again are intended for use on plastics, acrylics, and thermoplastics. Uh, not only do they have a special coating on them to protect them from heat abrasion, allowing them to last longer, it also uh, has a longer reach. So you have additional reach into those thick pucks. Typically when we mill those larger pucks, we do need to reach further down into them. So those, uh, those tools do have a deeper reach into the puck. So now that we've talked a little bit about the 53DC itself, Let's talk about some different things that we're doing in uh, collaboration with our milling partners. You know, as technology develops, you know, we have to look at things like tooling and strategies, different ways that we're attacking jobs. So some of those ways are through styles of milling strategy, um, starting with bidirectional. Bidirectional is probably the most common uh, milling strategy used. It has benefits when there's deficiencies within a machine. It allows you to kind of calibrate those strategies to eliminate milling problems that you might have with a device. So it's convenient in that way. Um, one of the downsides to bi-directional milling or also referred to as conventional milling is going to be, it's a more complex calculation, so it will likely take longer. Under magnification, you may see checkering on the surfaces and it usually takes longer to mill. So same job run side by side. Here is a comparison to climb milling and bi-directional milling. And we can see that there's a significant time savings when we utilize climb milling strategies over bi-directional. So here we can see with climb milling, we save a lot of time. What we're doing is we're using our bigger tools for more of the job and reducing these milling times by about 30 minutes. So there are some benefits to use, utilizing climb cutting uh, it is typically a faster job, a faster calculation, and it's making smoother cuts over the machine and making better use of the machine's power. So there are be significant benefits to developing not only the tooling, but the strategy itself along with the mill. Next, let's talk about the four millimeter single flute. So there are significant advantages to milling times when we utilize this tool for plastics, acrylics, and thermoplastics. Uh, we have validated this solution in partnership with both Sim Systems and Hyperdent. So today it is ready for use in the most current versions. Uh, it's specifically developed to utilize the strength and power of the 53DC. It's important to understand this tool is only compatible with the 53DC at this time. It would not be something that you would be utilizing in a 52 or 51 machine. So it would not be recommended to do that. Uh, if you're looking to order one of these tools for your existing 53 uh, that you're currently using in your lab, the part number would be RSB 200D-US. That could be purchased through any one of our dealer partners uh, or directly through our store as well. Uh, the reason that single flute tools can cut faster than dual fluted tools is it's able to take bigger passes and bigger bites out of the material. So two small flutes are only going to be able to remove smaller amounts of material per pass. When we have a four millimeter diameter tool, we are getting closer to a four millimeter full cut of material with every rotation of that tool, overall bringing the milling times down. So that's why there is benefit and faster milling times incorporated with using the four millimeter single flute. And again, it's intended for PMMA, denture bases, and thermoplastic pucks, which we will get more into here shortly. This will allow you to unlock production bandwidth for all on four temporary cases, try-ins, mill digital dentures, as well as RPD frames when utilizing materials like thermoplastics. And again, this is available in the current Millbox and Hyperdent versions. You need to make sure your licenses are up to date with uh, wh whichever dealer you would have purchased those through, make sure your license are current. 
Let's take a look at some milling time advantages for utilizing the four millimeter tool on a denture base. Here on the left, we have a job that was cammed and calculated utilizing the four millimeter tool. We're gonna to use the four millimeter, two millimeter, and one millimeter tool on this job. And we're able to complete this very detailed uh, denture base here. It's the same exact one here used on the uh, right side of the screen in just one hour and 27 minutes. And that's done in a 25 millimeter puck. Nice thing about milling di digital denture bases is there's really no post-processing. You're gonna save a lot of time washing, curing, uh, and waiting to be able to be ready to work on that denture base itself or loot the teeth to the base. Uh, here we have Sim Systems Millbox software on the right, very similar times, utilizing the same type of toolings and strategy, and we're able to complete that same denture base in the same thickness of puck in just one hour and 39 minutes. So significant time savings to what we were seeing with just the two millimeter or the three millimeter single flute. We're saving anywhere from 35 to 35 minutes to up to an hour on these denture base jobs. Now let's talk about screw retain cases, full arch. So whether it's for temporary trying, whatever you might be using it for, there are significant time savings here as well. On the left again, we're seeing a calculated job from Hyperden, and we are able to complete this uh, all on four case, PMMA with six implant sites in a 25 millimeter puck in just one hour and 35 minutes. So that's incredibly fast compared to what we're typically used to seeing with just the two millimeter tools for these PMMA jobs. We're saving an hour and a half to two hours on cases like this. Then over on the right, we're seeing milling times of just under three and a half hours, very same case utilizing the mailbox software. Last but not least, we take a look at RPD. RPD, again, with thermoplastics, this is something that not many people are taking advantage of or maybe haven't considered, but with the time savings we're seeing now on these cases, it makes a lot of sense to start to transition your uh, removable partial department over to digital production, okay? So in just under an hour with Hyperdent, you're able to produce this full RPD frame in uh, 56 minutes. And then over on the right, we have that same case and the same size puck out of the Millbox software. And we're able to calculate and produce this in just 49 minutes itself. As you can see, based on the results that we posted here in the last three slides, there are significant time savings that you can achieve by utilizing our new four millimeter tool. We'd like to thank you for taking the time to join us today to learn more about our DWX 53DC as well as our new 4mm milling solution. If you have any additional questions about how to implement this tool into your workflow or interest in a 53DC, feel free to reach out to any one of our partners or contact us directly. We'd be happy to take your call. Thanks for joining.